Hello everybody, welcome to the SFL quarterfinal between Gdynik and Skurometso. Absolute clash of the titans here. Um, pretty good team for Nick, a pretty great team for Skuro. The inducements are a babe for Gdynik. Um, obviously Skuro will be delighted to not be giving up a wizard here. And you know, like, Gdynik's team is actually, it's not, it's not good. Gdynik's team is very good. Um, but like Skuro's team is incredible, right? He's got all this tackle, and he's got blood step guard. He's got guard. He's got a he's got two block mummies. It's like one strength six. <laughs> They're both block guard. One's break tackle. Like it's a it's a really amazing team. I guess the bad thing is one of the whites is a bit rubbish with only guard, and the other white only has mighty blow tackle. Doesn't have piling on. But it's a really great team. Great team. But Nick's got a Daka. Love to see a Daka. This is a very horrible uh, thing result for him though. Uh, the kickoff result because now obviously Skuro's going to foul this guy with multiple assists. There is no DP on Skuro's team. That is a weakness of his team, I guess. Um, but yeah, I would definitely move in as many assists as possible and foul the shit out of this guy. Hate the mummies going in the middle. You've got to hold the flanks with those, right? Strength 5 and Strength 6. Hold the flank with the mummies. Get them out on the outside. Hold the flanks. May the best elf win. Very good, Christopher. I guess it's like protecting the ghouls a little bit, but I don't know. It's still definitely what I would definitely want to see these mummies on the flanks. I would have had probably another assist or two on this as well. Also, like cover the cover the edge here. Like this is a three two out, three two out, and now or now even less. Right now you can just blitz him into two plus out. Like you can't let him have a two plus out there. You have to protect him better. Like uh, t two in there. Like uh, this zombie here and another player here. So you've got like a. You're making an H with a foul. Not only have you got plus an extra plus one at the foul, you're totally trapping him. Like you have to trap him there. That's a it's a bit shit by school, honestly. And that's that's a fucking hell of a player. A hell of a player to have been hit by the rock and should have been isolated and fouled for the rest of the half. Um, <laughs> it's 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 a good question, Sata, because like it's. I think Skuro's team is better in a vacuum, but then I think, you know, elves are like a worse matchup than undead for lizards. So it, it's really interesting. I think Skuro definitely has the better team, but for me, it might be better off facing a slightly better undead team than a slightly worse elf team. So I guess I'm just hoping that, um, that this guy dies and this guy dies and this guy, like all of the good elves die, and uh, Nick wins. It's a good question, Impetuous Lad. And now, look, he's fouling his shithead instead of fouling the best player on the pitch. Oh, yeah, and he had to put it there instead of over here. And this is oh, super weak, and it is getting rackled instantly. Yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not true. It's not true, Satter. I mean they're both good, they both know how to play. Do I think it didn't expect than Skuro? Yes. Do I think it matters that much? No, I think. See but you know, it it does it does certainly like it does up it does upgrade his team slightly, of course, you know, like if it was But again that makes it a bit closer as well. That if anything that just makes it a bit closer, right? If, if, if it was a terrible coach with the Pro Elves, I'd definitely want the Pro Elves to win. Or if it was a terrible coach with the Undead, I'd definitely want the, the Undead to win. But, like, there's not a gulf between them, is there, you know? It's not like one is a million times better than the other. But, I mean, 
I think everybody would give I think everybody would give the edge to Gdanik against most people, but you know. It's maybe easier to dice Skuro, I don't know. Skuro diced me in the first game and I diced him in the in the second game. So you know we've both diced each other. Did I dice Nick? Probably. So you know. <laughs> You're not terrible, Skuro. They're uh, satisfied. <laughs> yeah, you know. If <laughs> You're not that terrible, sir. Like it would have to be really terrible to blatantly want somebody to win. They'd have to be blat. They'd have to be really a lot worse than the other one. But yeah, this is a weakness here to the Dakar, isn't it? It's a bunch of rolls, but you can have to roll a bunch of rolls, whatever happens, right? Hello, Steve. Yep, they, these these fuckers didn't tell us they were playing. So, um, I'm not sure about that. I would have definitely dodged this guy off with dodge first. Who's going to the more relevant position? Ah, oh, maybe he's not because of the tackle. Mm, fair enough. Look a dog, Nick. Well, 3D for... Oh, only a 2D. Oh, Skuro. Skuro, Skuro, Skuro. Probably should have made that a 3D. You don't want to, but you're hitting a wrestler. Like, you know, it's making a 1 in 9 terrible is not what you want on your, on your big boys. I might have blitzed the sidestepper there. You know, things you've got to tackle mighty. Uh, you've got a limited. I mean, you've got that limited tackle. He's actually got about four, but because he's kind of got a limited tackle, applying the mighty blow tackle to the better player is pretty good, right? But on the other hand, that's a 55% knockdown. That's a 75, so it's totally reasonable to go for that. But not what I would have done. And I mean, now it's just a mess, right? He's got players everywhere. There's gaps everywhere. And this defense is uh, is struggling to be called a defense right now. The glory of the Dakar. They're pretty shit against the Daka, really undead, right? But the zombies are shit. The mummies are shit. Especially if they wrestle themselves down. But, like, they're so slow. It's pretty easy to get past them and that. And, they've, you know, the ghouls are fast, but that's pretty much all they've got. <laughs> diced J5 absolutely diced I thought it had diced me as well but uh, I got pretty lucky versus Le Bride Mask <laughs> You know, so I could definitely, I could definitely dice Kadernik if I rolled as well as I rolled against Tom. I'd, I'd beat Kadernik. I've almost got to roll that. I guess the thing is, yeah, I probably got to get. It probably is an easier match versus Skuro than Kadernik. Like just because they're elves. Like honestly, just because they're elves. Yeah, that's like I didn't know these guys were gonna play. If I if I'd known they were gonna play. I would have, uh, I would have stuck around. Oh, full pow. Dice Lord Skuro. Is seventy five percent. 
And really 55, because he didn't really want to bolt down. Can Skuro get himself a two turn chance? Probably not. Annoying thing is they're just twos, aren't they, aren't they anyway? Even if you even if you get tackle in the right places, it's still just a two plus. Tackle lol. Does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no, it's really hard. Well, I guess Guru isn't isn't uh, stopping the stall here. That was a fucking brilliant idea by Jules or something. I'm stealing that idea though. Oh. Feels a dodge. What a loser. And now obviously Nick will make this incredibly safe. Honestly. <laughs> Great half for Gadenic. Zero damage. Perfect stall. Terrible start for Skuro. Should probably just 3D with Mighty Blow. It's cute, isn't it? Trying to do something. You're not going to stop the sword. It's not even worth trying, honestly. It's going to be amazing, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. Chunt of ice. something but not really he just blitzes him and then blocks him and even if you know even if he has to dodge he's still a one in 36 nah, and he, he doesn't even have to he can just he's got the double block hey <laughs> do you want to join me Dimmy in the booth Fresh from the foxhole. Fresh from the front line. <laughs> He's been making his beer mats and his shirts.
could have been you, Dewey. So Nick actually trying to stop the one turn? I wouldn't have bothered. Honestly. Move seven, the shoe hands is oh no, okay, this one's got side. Move seven sidestep. Not even worth it. You wouldn't be happy commentating with your busy mate. Wow. I thought we were best buddies, Dimmy. Bye now. Instant greed. Is he playing for the quick snap? Big foul. Oh, good play at the blitz. Diced. No, that could have an impact. No, it couldn't. It's a rookie line. Okay. Well, a very exciting half there. Now it's Skuro's drive, and now it is. No, it does get interesting because now we're going to see what Gdanik is made of. Interesting uh, setup here. I'm sure he's found this off my YouTube. Uh, I call this setup the Gdanik setup. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> I created this setup. And now Gdanik has copied it. Absolutely outrageous content stealing. Only me, nobody had ever made this setup before I made it. I put it on my YouTube and called it the Gadanic setup. Kick's pretty nice. Really nice. So you know if if Skura can protect the ball, bang some men out, not get one turned, he's got about a 50-50 shot at winning, hasn't he? But you know, he could have been hitting three, he could have been making three dice mighty blow hits, and for some reason he's not. So I don't like that. <laughs> I'll tell you for now, I don't like that about his play. Like, this could have been a three dice mighty blow hit. Would have been a KO. This could have been a three dice mighty blow hit. Would have maybe been a pal. That's really terrible. From Skuro, no offence. Don't watch the VOD. I don't mind them the tackle mighty hitting the good players, you know. Well there's no other option, is there? I guess he could have hit this one, soft target. But I, I quite like hitting the good ones there. It's so hard for him to knock over the good ones that might as well take the opportunity. Oh, nice chain for an extra hit here. Well, potentially, you know, could have been a push. Just maxing blocks. Of 
course, these guys who got pushed away couldn't have happened if the mummies had been there already. But hey. Is he going to GFI here? No. I would have quite liked to have seen end of turn GFI. So he's in on everybody there. What's Nick on ten? It's a good point, yeah, maybe he doesn't want to win. Yeah, three, five, eight, nine doesn't have the same ring to it. He's really got to get these he's got to manufacture like more dodges for Nick to roll, more more blitzes, more hits. Wants as many hits as he can possibly get, as many dodges as he can possibly make, as much tackle applied as he possibly can. But then he's also got to keep the ball safe, and it's not easy, is it? So. <laughs> wow, Samage. Fuck Nick, honestly. <laughs> Can't believe he banned me for fucking two weeks. I banned him back, so. Defending the ball. If he wants to be unbanned on my channel, he's got to unban me on his. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Good evening, Inarian. <laughs> kind of idiotic press forward that you have to do as a bash team you know like it's not it's not a slight on Skuro it's just it's just how you've got to play you've got to you've got to like dumbly go up the pitch you've got to you've got to give away hits to get hits right and it's just terrible but if you don't do that you're not going to get anywhere did get tackle on that guy and forced a 2 plus and got a Kaz so, you know, although he got punished for it, he also got the reward for it. So that's pretty decent. Apple gone. Got to blitz this guy, I think. And then move in around here. Mega super elf. Could even foul, because it's pretty desperate right now. You could think about fouling, guys. Really want his mummy in there, right? He really wanted this mummy in here. He doesn't want the mummy just being a cage corner. He wants, he wants the mummies out exerting influence. It wasn't the wheel. It wasn't the wheel, Sata. The wheel said no ban. Saul Goodman said ban. The wheel said, the wheel has only ever said no ban to me. It's about three times he spun the wheel on me and it's been no ban every time. And then fucking Saul Goodman said two weeks so he can't steal content. <laughs> 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 fucking super smart AI. Oh, I mean, this is bad from Skiro to allow the mighty blow tackle to be hit. You can't. Like, he's your absolute number one guy who cannot be blitzed, right? So... The Mighty Blow Tackler should have been where this guy is, and this guy should have been where the Mighty Blow Tackler is. Mm. 
Got to jam these guys in as far forward as you can. Do things. No spoilers, Skuro, because of course we can catch up because it can be 1 1 and overtime and everything, so we can definitely catch up. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be a win for Gadenik. Definitely not. Skuro hasn't spoiled the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred percent hasn't spoiled the whole game. Brilliant. <laughs> and he's looking grim for him anyway, to be fair. I think this I think this one should have been in there. Get like tackle on the dodge. Like you've got to get tackle on the dodges, haven't you? Like uh, I know it doesn't really matter much, but anything you can do, especially as overtime is the best possible scenario now, you've got to at least like try and suck up the rerolls. That's what you've got to do every time. It's fucking desperate. It's fucking desperate trying to score against these these elves. To be honest. Guy gonna 3D him. Nice one. Gets the full pow. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a nice little uh, spearhead. The problem is you can't get behind him. Maybe you should try and like run a ghoul around at this point. Handoff option and a way to get in behind. I think there's a lot of pressure just because it's so easy from the wall off, right? so easy for me to just L screen. It's a nightmare. I think it's a nightmare, personally. So yeah, these two are over there a little bit. That's, I think that's good. I don't know, maybe it's gone a bit further over, but it's good that they're, you know, like, stopping this guy from punching and dodging. Definitely putting this zombie in here first. And then you've only got one to deal with. Now you've got to move laterally, right? Got to, uh, you've got to dodge the carrier here, I think. Blitz this one and get the cage up here. So I would so I'd use the blitz on this guy. And then, you know, roll the one in nine. At the end of the day, like... Yeah, it sucks. It sucks to, like, lose on a one in nine. But it's versus Gadenik. With a pretty good Prowl team, so... You're almost going to have to roll those dice. At some point. Like, he's certainly having to roll 1 in 36, is like right there, he opens his turn with 1 in 36. Like, you just, you just can't get away from the dice aspect, can you? This isn't 30 percenters with rubbish teams. So yeah, so if the blitz had been on that guy and had dodged the ball, then well, there's a ball about here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then it would have been like a couple of squares close at the end zone. And then it would have been that much harder to screen off. A bit more space to go back and around. Oof, that's unlucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI. 
Oh, a dodge. Of course a dodge in a GFX is no reroll. Oh my god, diced. Absolute comedy mega. But yeah, so there you go. That's funny, isn't it? That last turn, had that been on that guy and got two squares forward, that would have then not been that GFI. would have taken out the GFI, yeah. We're obviously super unlucky. Like, that was a lackluster defence from him in the end. Just a two-dice block and either a double GFI or a dodge GFI after burning the reroll. So yeah, that was that was a very unlucky non-score in the end. Very unlucky non-score in the end. But um, there you go. Yes, indeed, sat there. Well, well. To be fair, whoever wins out of me and Nick will be will be a win for Skuro. So you know, if if. Uh, Skuro had everybody had everybody left in the no I don't know why you say no winner nine for Skuro Nick and Jim are still left in <laughs> so <laughs> so there you go <laughs> right um, there you go commiserations to Skuro congratulations to Kadenik thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>